My name is Michael Lee, and I'm a solutions engineer at DJI. In the last video, we mentioned that drone mapping has opened up new possibilities in land surveying. Instead of always having to use a total station or other heavy ground devices, surveyors have now been able to utilize drones with powerful sensors for data collection, saving time, and money. The information collected by cameras and sensors are simply photos with metadata. They need processing software to convert them into digital products, such as two-dimensional maps and three-dimensional models for additional use. This is where DJI Terra comes into play as a post-processing software for drone data. It can produce 2D maps from visual and multi-spectral images, as well as 3D real scene models and LiDAR point clouds. A 2D reconstruction is very similar to a picture taken with a drone facing straight down, except that each pixel has a coordinate and the distance between two objects on the map can be accurately measured. A 2D multi-spectral reconstruction takes advantage of multi-spectral images which contain near-infrared information. This output can better reflect the growth state of plants compared to a regular RGB photo, which is consistent with the colors seen by the naked eye. Three-dimensional real scene models simulate the real world through photos, captured at multiple angles, while a LiDAR point cloud shows the world by processing data from a Zenmuse L1 payload, which emits pulse light waves to collect data. DJI Terra walks users through importing the photos, spectral information, and LiDAR data required and reconstructs the model according to the principles, such as aerial triangulation. I will take the data collected by the Zenmuse P1 to make a 3D model as an example to briefly introduce the workflow of DJI Terra. First, insert the SD card of the P1 into the computer. Open DJI Terra. Select New Mission. Select Visual Light and name the mission. Import data from the SD card using the toolbar on the right side of the screen. Open 3D Reconstruction and set Reconstruction Parameters. In this case, we don't need to change anything. Now we'll click Start Reconstruction. After processing, you have your 3D model. When setting parameters, the two-dimensional and three-dimensional model can take into account ground control point information to make the model calculation more accurate. When processing multispectral images, you can choose whether to perform radiometric correction first. The above four data results can be viewed in DJI Terra, and some simple measurements can be carried out. If further data processing is needed, such as classifying LiDAR point clouds and generating digital terrain models, the use of other GIS software is required. You may be wondering, can such simple data processing steps produce accurate results? This is a real 3D model made by my colleague using DJI Terra. The model has fine details and texture, and there are no distortions or elongations when looking at fine details and corners. In addition, the processing speed of Terra is amazing, which is very useful for disaster relief and other scenarios that need to be mapped quickly or even in real time. I hope this video helped to show you just how easy it is to start using DJI Terra. If you would like more information, please check out our Terra page on the official DJI website where you can also apply for a one month trial license. I will also link to a quick start guide in the description that you can use after you get your trial code. Before your evaluation, please make sure your computer hardware supports the following configuration. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about commercial drone applications, best practices, and user stories. If you like this video or if you have any suggestions, make sure to drop a comment in the section below.